Hello, friends of the blade. Now we are going to talk about an interesting topic I know that many of you are interested in and this topic is folding knives. Folding knives are really uh, somehow fascinating although I have to admit that I well, this sounds funny, but I don't like folding knives so much. I rather trust uh, a real massive um, solid uh, one-piece uh, bowie knife like this and uh, this for certain reasons because in earlier videos we have uh, discussed that you can deliver chopping actions with a long knife and uh, in order to deliver chops the knife has to have a certain length in order to, uh, to uh, have the leverage and then a long knife just like a, a hatchet or a tomahawk can hack. So hacking is the one action uh, that you can do with a long knife and stabbing is the other. And therefore a long knife has to have a certain weight and by the way a fixed blade knife like this uh, has the advantage of having a guard. A folder instead usually doesn't have any guard and uh, it is uh, shorter and it is lightweight. This means you can never uh, chop with a folder. This is impossible to chop with a folder. And another aspect that you have to consider, the weak uh, part of a folding knife is always the pivot point here in the middle where the blade is rotating. And uh, that's the weak uh, uh, spot. And uh, since um, this is uh, always uh, uh, well, uh, where the grip is linked to the blade, you should never use a folding knife in order to pry, pry open a, a box or do heavy actions with a folder. You can use a folder for card box or opening letters or in uh, self-defense emergency situations. There a folder. Um, is a good option since it is uh, lightweight it is fast yeah you can move it fast in hand um, that's a good option and of course uh, one real advantage and i think that's the most important advantage of having a folder is that it is uh, short and uh, easily uh, carryable for everyday carry you can attach it in your jeans pocket with a clip and then you have it when you need it. So, my introduction when I mentioned I don't like folders was a little bit uh, polemic because uh, a very wise man said the best knife that you can have is a knife that you have at hand, that you carry with you. And so, what's the purpose of having a large fixed blade knife when it is at home? Uh, lying in, uh, in your cupboard and you don't carry it with it. So better to have a small folding knife than to have no knife at all. Alright, so now I want to show you some of my folders. Let's look. So these are a few folders I have. I have many more fixed blade knives than folders. But as I mentioned, they have a certain fascination. So the first folding knife I want to show you is uh, this Böker knife, Böker from Germany. It has a flipper and a an, uh, thumb rest opening point. You can use a flipper. Here it is. This is the uh, Böker uh, Kalashnikov 101 Buko Kalashnikov model. Um, folding knives usually have uh, uh, two possible um, methods of, uh, of locking, locking mechanisms. The one is uh, the liner lock mechanism and you can see this one has a liner lock mechanism meaning when you open the blade Ah, you can see it here in a minute 
how the uh, liner lock mechanism works. The blade opens and here you have it. A small metal liner uh, which is, uh, has a certain tension goes right into the middle of the, the grip position and locks it. So this liner locks the blade secure and that's why it's called liner lock. I will repeat it. And for opening you have to use your thumb, push aside the liner and then you can close the blade. So here you see it. Blade is closing. Now I open the blade and just watch now the moment when the liner is flipping into the middle. There you have it. So this liner secures the blade and avoids it from moving down. So this very nice uh, Böker uh, uh, Kalashnikov 101. It has a curved blade with uh, some serrations and the steel is uh, 440C. So uh, very nice Böker model. The blade is about 10 centimeters, 4 inches. And to my mind, uh, 4 inches is a good uh, blade length for a folding knife. 3 inches or 2.5 are too short for my opinion and longer blades, 6 or 7 inches, then uh, the, the uh, pressure on the pivot point to my mind is, uh, is getting too heavy. Well, there are exceptions, but we'll talk about this later. So, first thing I want to show you this Böker folder. Now, many people of you are interested in uh, Spyderco knives and I got these Spyderco knives half a year ago, so only recently. So, uh, this is a Spyderco Military, one classic model of Spyderco. And characteristic is uh, this hole here for Spyderco. I think all your fans, you know it. You can open it by putting your thumb in the hole. Blade is also about a little bit longer than 4 inches, I think. And uh, it also has here the uh, liner lock locking mechanism. Here you see it. In order to close the blade, just press, move it, then you close it. Compared to the Böker, this uh, knife looks very elegant and filigrane. And the cool thing about Spyderco is that you can put the clip point for attaching it to your jeans uh, on either side on the head here. Oh, oh no, not on this one. Here on the military is only here, on the upper uh, position. But you know what? I prefer to have the clip in this position. Because when you put it in your jeans pocket, uh, the, the locking mechanism is out of the pocket. And here, this is the part, at least in my jeans, uh, in the pocket where a little bit of sand and dirt is located. So I'd rather have this part in the uh, down part of the uh, pocket than this part where the, where the mechanism and the rotating parts are located. So that's the reason why I prefer really a lot to have a clip point uh, here at the upper part where the pivot point is. So this I like a lot about spider core knives. Uh, coming back to the Böker, you have an option uh, to attach a, um, um, a clip here, but then it is uh, uh, with the lock inside your um, pocket and this I don't like, so I just removed the clip. No way to put the clip here in the upper part, so I just, so I can leave it, uh, I thought. So that's a Spyderco. A military classic knife very cool and it's lightweight here you see the scales are, um, they are reliable but uh, plastic scales and um, does uh, it uh, this uh, helps to uh, prevent it uh, from getting too heavy so really light uh, folding knife this is another a newer spider co model this military is from 1997 and uh, they seem to change the steel they use uh, a lot. So this is made from CPM 440V uh, steel, uh, um, very special steel. 
And I think nowadays they have changed the uh, steel of the military. So I will close this one. So, and this uh, little beast here, this is a matrix from Spyderco. Same locking mechanism and you see this nasty curved blade. And uh, Spyderco meant to have it as a purely self-defense and um, a defending knife. So it's not made uh, for aggression and you cannot step with this. But when you have an um, aggressor coming at you, this knife is meant that you uh, put it on your arm and any time, once you have uh, put uh, uh, the, the blade on your opponent's arm, of course, of your opponent, there is no chance that he can escape you because this is so an aggressive curved blade, you just rip open any flesh that uh, this... So, back again, and we are just discussing the um, Spyderco Matriac. And this is a, is a little bit smaller brother uh, of the civilian. The civilian, uh, many of you know the civilian, has, uh, I think, 11 centimeters and this is about 10 centimeter blade. And, uh, uh, by the way, it's a funny name, the Matriac. So, I think uh, this is why they, uh, why a spider co um, made this, especially for females, for women. And uh, Spyderco says that it uh, doesn't uh, take much skill to defend with such a knife because you can use it just as a cat's paw or a, a tiger's claw. You know, it is uh, not a stabbing action, but anytime you, uh, you move it, you can, you can move it in any direction and it will hit flesh. So this is a um, purpose-built uh, defending knife. Not an everyday uh, usable knife, but it is lightweight. And uh, if you store it in your pocket, uh, it can happen that you really forgot uh, that you have it because you will not notice the, the little weight of this. Really, really nice uh, Spyderco uh, Matrix. You have heard the sound. Spyderco is a good company. So, now we come to my favorite folding knife and this is this beauty here that you has, have already seen. This is the uh, Applegate uh, Combat Folder from Gerber. Well, to be uh, precise, Fairbairn Applegate. They have uh, lasered it on the uh, blade. I think in previous models they have really engraved and etched it in the blade, but now it's printed or lasered or whatever. This is really a, a very cool and uh, also purpose-built uh, fight-in folder. It says here, I hope you can read it, it says combat folder. And if you uh, are familiar with Colonel Rex Applegate, he is also the creator of um, this fixed plate dagger made by Böker. This is a Böker Fairbairn Applegate dagger. Uh, and uh, the blade is 15 centimeters, so 6 um, inches of this uh, fixed plate dagger. And it has uh, at least uh, some thumb rest, some guard made of brass and I mentioned this dagger in one of my earlier videos so this is more or less a little brother the folding dagger folding dagger is cool and uh, here we have serrations on the blade and this part is the sharpened part uh, of the blade this is not sharpened but you could easily sharpen it since it is I think half a millimeter of thickness and uh, a locking mechanism uh, as well is a liner lock with one uh, special addition uh, you can uh, flip it open very easily with one hand you can even close it with one hand open it close it you open it with a thumb stud very uh, easy and you close it by pushing 
here's a liner to the side and then the blade ha uh, is very uh, easy and smooth here, the blade play uh, when you push aside the liner and then it can go down so the speciality that I want to mention is this there is an additional locking mechanism it not only that the liner I, I show it the liner as soon as the blade is fully opened the liner jumps into place you would see it just watch here the middle I now open there you have it liner is here and now they have here an additional uh, metal clip you can put it down like this like this and what does it do if this additional metal clip you will see it here comes down I, I press it so and now this metal clip if I press it down uh, avoids the liner from being uh, opened up again so the liner is locked in place here so this is somehow an additional uh, security element so it won't happen that you uh, mm, without warning it uh, go press down if you're under stress but uh, I doubt it if really because you have to have a certain you have to use a certain force in order to push aside the liner and it would not happen uh, on occasion but it's good to have this additional security element and so this is a very uh, nice folder and the grip is long and very economic yeah uh, you can uh, if you have it in your hand well you probably uh, wouldn't notice if somebody has a folder like this in his hand until open it up and then the folder is ready so from Gerber the Fairbairn Applegate Dagger so a nice addition uh, to the uh, fixed blade Böker Applegate so they make a nice pair now we come to a very special knife from uh, cold steel me personally I like cold steel a lot because they make such uh, awesome and innovative products well the steel they use okay it's OS 8 on this Spartan uh, there are other steel but the design is uh, very very cool and uh, this is a cold steel Spartan the first thing that you notice is this grip of the Spartan the grip is really really um, interesting yeah because if you grip it it really is impossible to lose it it locks in your hand here in the upper part it's really impossible if you have your four fingers here and your thumb here you have gripped it so tight it cannot you cannot move if you hit something you cannot move on the blade this is uh, totally unimpossible and on the other hand if you have stick the if you have the knife uh, stuck in wood and want to pull it out then this element uh, of the um, lower part of the grip helps you a lot so it's really virtually unimpossible to lose it and you can even hold the knife just by um, uh, using your outer fingers index finger and little finger and you don't, don't even need to have your thumb so that's a cool thing about the Spartan the blade is I think a little bit more than four inches and what's important about the cold steel knives is their locking mechanism this is not a liner lock uh, cold steel calls this the triad lock triad locking mechanism and this is really an uh, improvement of the traditional rocker lock and you have to uh, dig it on the web you have to do some research about this triad lock because this is a lock I really really trust they make uh, impressive um, uh, proofs by uh, putting a knife like this and then adding weight here on the grip so the, so they uh, hold about I think uh, 400 pounds or such don't uh, nail me on this one uh, but uh, this is really really a secure locking mechanism this uh, cold steel triad lock yeah and uh, in the beginning I mentioned that you could not use a knife for chopping actions well 
<laughs> and now I have to admit, if I ever was in a situation where I need to use a folding knife as a chopper, then I would rely on this cold steel Spartan. But no other of the knives before I would use for chopping, only this one, because this is really such a good mechanism. Hmm? There are other uh, videos here on YouTube where somebody has a Spartan and also the same locking mechanism is in the um, Espada series of cold steel. And uh, there are clips about the 5.5 inch uh, blade length Espada and this monster 7.5 inch Espada. They all use the triad locking mechanism. And uh, yeah, this is a, a locking mechanism that you can trust. And uh, what you also will notice uh, by opening, uh, opening it up, you have a certain uh, um, force that you will need. Now, uh, some seconds left, how to carry your folders. The one uh, possibility is to clip it to your um, uh, jeans pocket. Others are to store it. And especially for the Böcker knife, uh, I have here this very nice Tasmanian Tiger. So this fits secure Tasmanian Tiger sheath. And for the uh, Spartan, I had also this larger Tasmanian Tiger mag pouch. But now I use this and uh, it was uh, intended to be used for a flashlight made uh, by Böker. And the Spartan perfectly fits in this flashlight sheath. But I prefer to carry a folding knife without a sheet. It would um, make no sense to uh, have a small folder and then have a pouch for it. Just clip it to your jeans.